Well, Sean and I are high school sweethearts. We got together in high school and got married at 17, and we have four children together and a grandson, so we've been together for a long time. Absolutely, through, through, the, through the rough. So what sort of changes have you seen in Sean over the years, being the top bounty hunter now from a bit of a checkered past in the earlier days? Well, Sean's always been, uh, always had the, the repo in him. Um, even from <laughs> a young age, he's always been one of those guys always looking for that adrenaline rush. Uh, and the repo business definitely gives that to him, so... I'm thankful for that. And as a wife, did you ever get do you get nervous with him going on some of these some of these calls? Absolutely, extremely nervous. I mean, you know, there's times he'll go go out and I try to get in touch with him. I don't hear anything back from him. It, it could be hours. You don't know what's going on if he's it's a very dangerous job for him. Absolutely, and and your your first impressions uh, when he was a when he first went on a job, and now as you as you got more experience, uh, you're able to deal with it better. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I, when he first started uh, repoing, I was not into it. I was worried. I was scared. I didn't want him to leave. Um, but over the years, the whole family kind of gets involved in it, you know, at times. So it becomes a it, it it's. Doing a job like that, it has to include the whole family. You all have to be part of it, or it's just not going to work. Uh, and so you're you alluding to, to, to uh, when I spoke to Sean, he said your three boys are also help him out sometimes. So you got the husband and the boys. That must be a real melting pot there. It is, it is. And uh, Sean can hold his own pretty well. Um, <laughs> but my boys are my boys. And uh, I always I worry about all of them, Sean included. But... Um, and I know when, when they're out with him, uh, they're safe. And, and, and the long hours, uh, what advice do you give to, to, to other wives of truck drivers? To, I mean, a long time away from your man. Uh, you have to have some tough skin. Uh, <laughs> and you have to be willing to uh, be by yourself a little bit. Um, there's, there's, you know, weeks he's gone at times, sometimes. Um, you... You get phone calls in the middle of the night, need, needing help one way or the other. Uh, so you have to, you have to have trust in them that they know what they're doing when they go out there. So it sounds like you almost, uh, you almost like a, a phone call away when it gets really sticky. Yep, absolutely. I, I get calls in the middle of the night sometimes. You know, he's having problems locating uh, someone, and I'm a real good uh, social media. Hound, uh, I, I've got four grown kids, remember, so I know how to do a lot of research. <laughs> you sound like that lady from Airplane Repo, the guy's wife who's always on the other end of the, uh, other end of the line. That's me. <laughs> and, uh, uh, what's the best part of being married to a bouncy hunter? The best part? Well, I don't ever have to worry about my cars being repoed. <laughs> And, and, and the American culture, with a big consumer culture, you must obviously see a, 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 a already a lot of repos going on these days. There are always a lot of repos, always. That, that business will never go away. There's, there's always uh, notes that need to be paid and not being paid. Absolutely. And uh, you, you're a, a, do you work in a storage facility yourself? Or is that another? I I, yes, I do. I run a storage unit, yes. Okay, so... Um, just, just how much stuff do people hoard, and what's the, what's the funniest thing you found by by hook or by crook? Uh, honestly, the the oddest thing that we have found uh, was a couple urns with ashes in them. That that was uh, probably the oddest thing we've ever found. Um, a lot of them that do go up for repo, they're full of junk. It's it's I believe it's other trash that they just didn't want to deal with. And so with these shows, do you think they're planting stuff, or, or, or if you look hard enough, you're going to find something? No, I, think, I don't think they're planting stuff, because I, I do know from experience, if, uh, if some may look like trash and have gold in the back, um, some may look like it has something nice in it, and it's just full of clothes. And how, how, did, how did you get into that line of work? A uh, family friend of ours opened up... Uh, facility asked if I wanted to run it for him and here I am. Do you ever get any bounty hunters coming to your premises looking for stuff? No, no way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ship around here. Absolutely. And and how do you guys react to the fame now? Has, has it changed the uh, family dynamics and Sean himself? Well, it has 
hasn't changed, you know, the, the boys or anything in that fact. They are who they are. Um, what you see on, on the television is what you get in real life with Sean and Vince. Um, and you've been there, you've seen that, that relationship uh, growing over the years with Sean and Vince. Uh, what's that sort of behind the scenes with us two? I have uh, known Vincent since I was probably 15 years old when Sean and I got together. Because they've been inseparable since they were very, very young. I, I want to say like five. Um, they've been best friends and they still are. He's like a, a brother or sometimes I feel like I'm a, a, a second wife, you know, I have to scold him and lecture him just like I do Sean sometimes. But that's what we are. We're a big family and we got each other's back all the way around. Absolutely. And and uh, Sean, Vince must be at a loose end now with Sean uh, recovering from his shoulder injuries. Yeah, he's, he's still recovering. He's getting there. Um, I'd say a few more months and we'll be back at it. Absolutely. So, what 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 is what does Vince do to pass the time, or has he got something he can do? Um, Vince is Vince. You'll you'll you will work it out. Would you do everything the way you've done it if you could do it all over again? Sure, I sure would. Uh, you learn as you go, and if you don't make mistakes, you're not going to learn anything. So. Um, they've done it about the best I would know. Um, yeah, I wouldn't change a thing. And, and the cameras, I suppose that was mainly at their work. That it wasn't really too intrusive in, in your own life, was it? No, not in our own life. They did come to the house, you know, for home visits and whatnot. But uh, the, the boys just did the cameras. And what were impressions of the other people on the show? There was a few kooky characters on there. Yeah, there's a few. I, I um, have not had personal uh, interactions with them, but there is a few that, you know, Sean and Vince may not have seen quite eye to eye with, or they didn't see quite eye to eye. You know, Sean and Vince, they don't have a filter. So, like I said, what you see is what you get with those two. And your impressions of South Africa, Africa? We're hoping to get Sean over there for the for the big conference uh, in, in February. Yeah, I, I, I'm excited for them. I'm, I'm hoping to try to tag along. Nice. I've probably been out of the country, so it'd be, uh, it'd be fun. Uh, with, I'm sure with your exchange rate, it's going to be very fun. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, it's dirty cheap here if you've got dollars, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, brilliant. Well, um, thanks very much for your time, ma'am, and have a great day. All right, thanks, Greg. You too. Cheers, Becky.